So, you know, when you're freaking out about being pregnant or not, go back to your farm, grab a bunny, inject your urine into it. What, you, you don't do that? Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. Rabbits belong to the order Lagomorpha, which has a lot of different species, ranging from cute little pika to large hares. Rabbits are found all over the earth except Antarctica, but are especially common in North America. Rabbits are not native to most islands. How would they get there? Swim? But humans have introduced them to many islands, including Australia, where they've become a major problem because they breed so quickly and eat so much. There are actually about a hundred different breeds of the species we call domestic rabbits, ranging from the fluffy angora to the adorable lop-eared varieties. Rabbits breed like, well, rabbits. A female rabbit can breed for about seven years, and of those years, she can hypothetically have a litter of about six babies every month. If you do the math, it becomes frighteningly clear that rabbits could easily take over the world. A single female and her descendants could produce over 184 billion rabbits in seven years. Luckily for us, rabbits are tasty and the preferred food for lots of predators, or we'd be knee-deep in bunnies. That actually sounds awesome. Bugs Bunny outwitted Porky Pig with snappy conversation and tricks. Real rabbits use their strong back legs, big ears, and 360 degree vision to escape predators. They are also crepuscular, active at dawn and dusk, so they are less visible to predators. They usually sleep with their eyes open so they don't miss anybody creeping up on them at night. It is tough being tasty, succulent prey. Guys, rabbits are not rodents. They have completely different teeth patterns with two incisors on top, two on the bottom, just like Bugs Bunny. Rabbits are pretty quiet animals, which makes sense since they're always trying to escape being dinner. They do make little humming sounds when they're happy. The ultimate expression of bunny happiness, though, is the binky. If you've ever seen a rabbit binky, you might have wondered what the heck was happening. The rabbit jumps up in the air and twists in a wacky way. When we think of happy bunnies dancing in the forest, this is what they'd actually be doing. More of a freeform mosh pit than anything else. Brains the size of a double A battery, and they're still better dancers than me. Rabbit feet have been used as lucky charms to ward off evil since about 600 BC. In North America, not just any rabbit's foot will do. It has to be the left hind foot of a rabbit killed in a cemetery at a particular stage of the moon. Some people believe that the superstition originated because witches were thought to shapeshift into rabbits. So cutting off the rabbit's foot would protect the holder from witchy voodoo and bring good luck. Obviously, it didn't quite work out for the rabbit. It's hard to believe today, but in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, millions of rabbits gave their lives so that women could find out if they were pregnant. Pregnant women produce human chorionic gonadotropin, a hormone that indicates the presence of a fertilized egg. Urine from the woman was injected into a female rabbit, and then, a few days later, the rabbit was killed and her ovaries examined. If there was HCG in the woman's urine, the ovaries of the rabbit would enlarge because the rabbit's follicles would be stimulated and start to mature. They could actually do the test without killing the rabbit, but it was easier to kill the animal. You can still hear people say the rabbit died when they're talking about someone being pregnant. The sad thing is the rabbit died whether the woman was pregnant or not. What animal do you want me to look into next? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. To see adorable baby rabbits jumping for the first time, check out this great new show, City Wildlife Rescue, which is about the rehabilitation of animals at the Toronto Wildlife Centre. I'll put a link down below. Make sure you go check them out and donate if you can. Thanks for watching.